A number is selected from the first 10 natural numbers. Consider the events M, a prime number is chosen, and N, an odd number is chosen. Part A, list the sample space and the set of outcomes for the events M, N, M and N, and M or N. Okay, so they want us to list the sample space. So let's call that S. And what outcomes make up the sample space? This would be similar to our universal set. So it's the first 10 natural numbers. So remember the first natural number is one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. M was equal to our prime numbers. So a prime number is chosen. The outcomes favorable to event M would be our prime numbers, which include two, three, five, seven. Event N is an odd number is chosen. So our favorable outcomes for an odd number is chosen would include the one, the three, the five, the seven, the nine. Now the intersection of M and N would equal, okay, so a prime number and an odd number. So we're looking for the odd prime numbers. So that's the three, the five, the seven, and then M or N. So now we're looking for the prime numbers or the odd numbers or the odd prime numbers. So that's gonna include the one, the two, the three, the five, the seven, the nine. So believe it or not, I think we've done the hard part by organizing all that information. So now let's state the following probabilities. Well, the probability of M occurring is equal to the number of favorable outcomes to M all over the total number of outcomes. So that's four over 10, right? There were four elements in set M. So four over 10, which reduces down to two fifths, two out of five chance of M occurring. The probability of N occurring. So an odd number is cho chosen is five over 10 or one over two chance of that occurring. The probability of M and N occurring. So a prime number and an odd number. Well, there were three of those all over 10. And last, the prime, sorry, the probability of M or N. So the prime numbers or the odd numbers or the odd prime numbers. Well, there were six all over 10, right? Six favorable outcomes to 10 total. And that reduces down to three over five. Question C, determine the probability a prime number is chosen, given that an odd number is chosen. So that was that conditional probability that we have to understand. Now there's kind of two ways around these questions. We could work with the formulas or we could just understand what this notation is trying to tell us. So determine the probability that a prime number is chosen given that an odd number has already been chosen. So what that's telling us is that out of the odd numbers, how many are prime. Well, when we think about it like this, the probability of M occurring, given that N has already occurred, is equal to three over five, right? There are five odd numbers, and out of these five odd numbers, three of them are prime.
or we could use formulas. So the probability of n and m occurring equals the probability of m occurring multiplied by the probability of n occurring given that m has already occurred. So we rearrange our formula and we realize that the probability of m occurring given that n has already occurred equals the probability of n and m all over the probability of m. So we plug in what we know, 3 over 10 divided by 1 over 2, which will equal 6 over 10 or 3 over 5, the same number as what we had found earlier. So Aiden said, or for part D, Aiden said that a quicker method for determining the answer in C would be to look at the number of odd numbers in the sample space and count how many of these were prime. Do you agree? Well, yes, that's what we did right at the start. Okay, next, let's determine the probability that an odd number is chosen given that a prime number was already chosen. So again, out of the prime numbers, how many are odd? Well, how many prime numbers are there? There are four. Out of those four, how many are odd? Three over four, right? Or we could use our formulas. So I'm just gonna jump to the probability of n occurring given that m has already occurred, equaling the probability of m and n all over the probability of Um, which one would it be? Sorry, that should be an M. So that's 3 over 10, all over 2 over 5. Which equals 3 over 4. Which is, again, the same as what we had found before. 